Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a huge Kylie Cosmetics haul main, and it's also going to include swatches as well on my lips. Um, so this is going to be just lip kits and glosses and I'm so excited, I can't even explain. If you haven't done so already then please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any further videos from me and let's just get in with the video. So I did actually want to get some of the Kylie lip kits back in what was it, like 2016 or something that they came out, something like that. And I remember there was that whole thing about how it's a similar form, meant to be a similar form to Colourpop or like the same. And at the time I was like 15, 16, because it was 2016, it depends what month it was. And at the time, obviously, I wasn't making my own money. I didn't have the money to buy Kylie Jenner stuff. And I basically ordered like a load of stuff from Colourpop. And I really liked their liquid lipsticks. And it was basically one of those things where I didn't want to spend a ton of money on just a couple of lip kits if I didn't know if I'd like them. So I never actually ended up buying the Kylie lip kits, even though I really wanted them. So if you're from the UK, in case you don't know, um, even though Kylie's website, like her actual site, it does actually ship to the UK. Uh, I didn't want to because a lot of the time you're going to get a customs charge and shipping so they basically have launched in Selfridges I think Kylie Skin had already launched in Selfridges but now Kylie Cosmetics has there is some things that are on her website that aren't in Selfridges like her birthday collection isn't in Selfridges correct me if I'm wrong I don't know if you can buy her lip liners individually or only the lip liquid lipsticks individually but they're not on Selfridges. But apart from that, I think like everything is in Selfridges. But something I noticed is that it's £26 for a lip kit. Also, if you go on her website and you put it to like UK, it is also £26. Please let me know if anyone's from the UK and has recently ordered from her website, please let me know if you've got any customs fees and stuff because if it's £26 on her website, we are also getting customs fees then obviously you're better off doing Selfridges. But if you're not getting custom fees, then that's really handy to know that I can order from her website without getting a customs fee. So I've ordered eight lip kits, a liquid lipstick, and four lip glosses. And I'm gonna be trying them all on my lips for you. RIP to my lips. But I am using my Nivea oil micellar water, like the dry oil. So I'm hoping because I'm using like an oil base that it won't be as like sore on my lips. I should also probably point this out. If you're getting it from Selfridges, they only let you add maximum five lip kits to your basket. I feel like I should probably go lightest to darkest. So we're just gonna have to figure this out. So the first one I got is Ginger. Ah, I dropped a lip kit. Oh, oh no. I'm zoomed in a bit more so it's a bit easier for you guys to see me. So this is the color that it looks like on here. And then when you open it, it's like this. Honestly, she couldn't have picked, like, a better colour than pink. Like, so you get the lip liner, and then you also get the lipstick. I really tried to get a variety of shades. I really need to move this camera. So I really tried to get a variety of shades. Like, I didn't want to get too many that were, like, similar. And some of these might be similar. It's hard to tell. It is so cute. So the liquid lipstick just looks like this. And it says, maybe it would help if I put it around the right way. It just says Kylie. And then it says, does it say Kylie Jenner? Yeah, it says Kylie Jenner underneath. And this colour looks stunning. It does look a little bit more warmish or darker on camera. And then you just have the lip liner. I always put lip balm on before I do my lips. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I've heard amazing things about these lip liners. I don't have a particular idea on my lips. Sometimes I will like do them a bit more like proper, sometimes I overline them. Ooh, nice. I use like a MAC lip liner whenever I line my lips. And this is like so thick. Like this lip liner feels really like opaque, if that makes sense. It's very soft as well. Like you can see the nib is already like going down a little bit. Okay, and then normally I would fill my whole lips in because I'm doing liquid lipstick, I'm not gonna. But what I am gonna do is just sort of do. A, a lot of my lip, but just not like the middle section. The nib has already gone down a little bit um, because it is just super, super soft. Um, so I will say that. 
but I mean it's obviously the whole pencil I do have just just remember though you need to use an actual like makeup sharpener not a pencil sharpener with these now I know these used to smell like vanilla but because it's now vegan and cruelty free and everything it won't I don't think oh it still has a nice smell to it though yeah it still has like a nice like like a classic almost like a classic bullet lip smell it smells very similar to the MAC bullet lipsticks actually Oh my gosh. Whoa. I messed my lip up. I got overexcited and I messed it up. Oh my gosh. Okay. These are not the same as Colourpop. I will tell you that right now. I tried my Colourpop liquid lipsticks the other day just so I had a direct comparison. This is completely different. These are so thin and do you know what they look, they feel a bit more like? They feel a bit more like NYX. They feel similar to like the NYX soft matte lip creams or maybe the NYX, um, what are they called, the, the lip laundries or something. That's what these feel like. These don't feel like Colourpop. Colourpop feels thick on your lips. like. Maybe it's just because mine are really, really old, and I don't know if they have a new formula, but these are nothing like Colourpop. If you have a Colourpop, unless the formula's changed in the last few years, my Colourpop lipsticks have never felt like this. Even the day I got them, so nice. I did a bit of a bad job at applying that. But this is stunning. Just looking back at pictures from work, like two years ago, where I used to wear my Colourpop lipsticks, and when I tell you, like, my lips looked crusty. And the pictures were from the first thing in the morning. Like, I'd just done my makeup and my lips look crusty. This is... I love it. Putting that on was so much smoother than I thought it was going to be. So much smoother. It's not as, um, cool toned as I thought, which I'm very happy about. But I really like this colour. I feel like it's going to be a really, really pretty, like, autumn colour. The formula is really good. And I get what people mean, like, it's drying, but it's really not that drying. Like, you need to put a little bit of lip balm underneath. Like, definitely put some lip balm underneath, because it's just nicer. <laughs> to me, like, yeah, okay, it, if you like a glossy lip and you're used to a glossy lip, then you are going to find this kind of drying. Like, it doesn't really feel like anything's on my lips. I am in love. I need to keep going, because I've spent so long just on this colour. I think the people that do these videos that say their lips are so sore are using makeup wipes to get it off. Next, I've got Snow Way Bay, which it's just like a little pink one. Which seems cute, you see? It's a bit like, I don't know how bright it's gonna be. It didn't look super bright, but I genuinely don't know. I lined that a bit rubbishly, but it'll do. <laughs> this was one of the first colors I actually chose. I saw it on her actual website rather than on Selfridges first. <gasps> I will say, it feels like you have like the perfect amount of time to like work with them. I love this colour. Oh my gosh. This one's not drying as quickly as the one before, but I think I may put a little bit more product on, which is probably why. Let me just... I love this colour. This is a very me colour. I miss wearing matte lipstick. Like, why is matte lipstick not a thing? Like... Do you remember when everyone took inspiration off Kylie? Like, she was the lip queen, and it was like, anything she was doing, everyone else did. Now everyone just has their own stuff that they like, but like, honestly, like, I know she does wear like, more gloss stuff now, but like, this makes me miss matte lips so much. Like, I'm definitely going back to it, 110%. Now I've got these at least anyway. Let me just zoom you in. That is so pretty and you like know it's gonna last as well which is so good this is a beautiful shade like i love this color amazing snow way bay is the one for me i would say this is like my go-to color like this is like my perfect shade i love this sort of color of lips it's so pretty next one we're gonna do is we do autumn or do we do kylie should we stick with that the pink theme and do kylie i think autumn's a bit darker so this is like kylie's shade it's literally called kylie as far as i'm aware this is the only one where like the lip liner doesn't match the lipstick this is one of the ones where like the color looks way brighter than what it does in the tube i noticed like it does look like that is not as bright this looks like my if i was to see it in a shop this would be my this would be the color i'd go for like as in this in the tube it's just exactly me 
So, I'm very interested to see how this looks on because I've only ever paired it with like a colour like that. I always pair with like saw lip liner. I never use like a brown, so I'm very intrigued to see how this looks. It's a very different shade of brown as well. Oh, I'm actually going to throw this out the window. Okay, onto the liquid lip. I do quite like this colour. It was different than what it's lighter than I was expecting in a way. But I do know that in her video she did, like her makeup video, she did actually say that um I mean she showed that she normally does the lip liner and then just dabs like the lip the lipstick in the middle. I personally don't think the lip liner is my shade, like in terms of it just isn't the right shade for me. Um I like it underneath this lipstick, but I wouldn't wear it like the way she does I don't think because I just don't think the lip liner like complements my skin tone but it's beautiful underneath this liquid lipstick but it's such a pretty colour like I love this I love this colour it's sort of similar to Brave by MAC it's a really pretty colour which is the colour I had on the actually no I mainly had saw lip liner on at the start of the video but it is a really really stunning colour like this is definitely going to be my go to colour I would say that about every single one but it is obviously different to that which is so that don't go by the boxes. <laughs> I'm struggling right now with my happiness for buying all of these. I feel like it was the right decision. Okay, look. Literally nothing. So good. Like, it's so nice on the lips. It doesn't feel like like it's there. It's so weird. Beautiful. This is like this is gonna be a favourite colour. Okay, now I'd say the rest of the colours are more like not my go-tos. Like those first three were definitely more like a neutrally colours. Like not saying the rest won't be neutral, but I mean they're not really. But like maybe this one is the only one that will be. But like I try to get like I said colours that I don't always wear. So this is autumn. I couldn't really tell what colour this is going to be. It looks very orangey on the front. It looks very autumnal on the website. So ooh, it actually looks a bit lighter than I thought. It's a really pretty colour. Okay, let's put this on. I really liked this colour. This was like, was this in my first order? I think it was in my first order. Ooh. See, the thing was, with a few of the lip liners, they've been, the f set that, like, the Snowway Bay and the Kylie one, because they're lighter, they're very, like, they're a bit more similar to my skin and my lips, just because they're a lighter colour. So, it meant it was a bit more hard to actually see it, especially, like, for you, probably. Whereas like this in the first one, you like in all the rest of them, you're gonna be able to see the lip liner so well because it's darker. These lip liners are the creamiest things I've ever felt. Also, really random, but I started watching the start the new Gossip Girl. What's everyone's opinions on it? Because I'm not sure. I can't. I'm not sure about it doesn't have the same feeling about it so now on to autumn it's a lot more the lip liner is way more like pink than i was expecting um i was expecting it to be way more like orangey it's a lot more pink than i thought it was gonna be i thought it's gonna be more like that it's still beautiful i love this color oh my gosh this is stunning I am really happy with the colours I bought, bought because I didn't buy that many of like the classics because I feel like as well what's really handy like for you guys watching is you, everyone's seen the classic ones, all the ones that end with K, everyone's seen them whereas a lot of these ones I would like watch hauls and try-ons of these ones and not many people were buying them so I'm really like I haven't seen one person try on Snow Way Bay so I'm so happy that like I've got all these colours. This is so pretty. This is like, mm, it's like all it's. I mean, it's called autumn, but it is such an autumn colour. Like I am obsessed with this colour. I'm not gonna move. I'm sorry, I can't zoom you anymore because my camera is gonna fall again. It reminds me of something. I don't know if I've got something in a similar colour because it reminds me of something. But it's so pretty because it's like it's a bit pink, but it's a bit red. It's a bit orange. It's, it's almost like a brick, almost like a red brick. I literally can't even deal with how pretty this is. I just, I'm saying that for every single one, but there's really not much to say because I'm only showing you what they look like on. 
so good. I'd be interested to see what these would be like eating. Okay, so before I take this off like I've been doing, I'm going to show you what I've got next. So now we're going on to more of what I think is like the brighter ones. So this one seems really bright, but from swatches, I don't think it is. So this is Victoria. Now it looks like bright red. It looks so red on the box. But from swatches, it doesn't look like it's going to be as red. And also from the packaging, okay, it kind of looks super red in the camera. But if you put it in comparison to the box, it's a lot more dull. So I am going to put this on now because I think this one isn't actually as bright as this. So I'm very, and I'm very intrigued because it didn't look as bright on swatches. And if it is, I actually won't mind as this. But like, I'm really intrigued to see if it is or not. Okay, it looks like it's going to be quite red. But not super bright. It's been so hard to figure out what red I want, which I'll talk about when I get to the red I bought. Um, but I'm really intrigued because this lip liner does look quite red, but very a muted. It is, I think this is like a muted red. It seems like a muted red. Oh, it's way more red than I thought it was going to be. this color i did not know this was this color i thought i'm actually really happy i got this i mean don't know it is quite muted it isn't like a bright red it is quite muted with like a pinky purpley undertone it's not really like berry i wouldn't call it like a berry red but it is definitely like a it's definitely got some pinky undertones to it and that's kind of what I expected. It wasn't, I didn't expect it to be like this red anyway. I thought it was gonna be a bit more dull than this. This is also a very, very autumnal color. Like I really love this color. Yeah, you can see like your little lines where like the lipstick is, where like the lines on your lips are, but they're not like, um, you know how they can look crusty when it's a matte liquid lip? Because it's a really thin lipstick. It, it you see the lines, but it's not, doesn't look really dry in. Is there any way I can explain it? Now, we are on to... I think I'm gonna go with Extraordinary, or Extraordinary, however you say it. What just fell? My mirror just fell! I just realised what it was. When I looked on her website, this was one of the colours that I wanted. But on Selfridges, there isn't like a swatched picture. So hopefully if you're planning to get this, this will help you because I'm gonna swatch it for you. Ooh, that's very similar to the box actually. That's a pretty good match. This is stunning. So this is like a quite a bright pink. As you can see, every colour I got is very different. And I'm proud of myself for managing it. I have never in my life experienced lip liners like these. They're insane. I, I, my go-to lip liner is Max Saw, which actually was because of Kylie Jenner. But, because everyone was really, like, loved it. But I actually genuinely love it. It's my go-to colour. Max Saw is what made me realise that's my favourite colour. This is going to be quite bright and I think I'm going to question whether I like this or not. Because I'm not normally a bright pink person, but we'll see. I love it. I can tell you, it's a perfect bright pink. This colour is stunning. See, this is a colour that... I love bright pink, but I do feel like bright pink is scary. And I feel like matte lipstick dolls down a bright colour. Like, if you wanted this to be super, super bright, you'd put a gloss on it. Or you'd get it as a gloss. But I always feel like when something is matte, it, it makes a bright colour more wearable because it's matte and it dulls it down, it makes it way more muted. Like, I love this colour. I actually think it, this colour can be very autumnal or it can be like more summery. I do think it would work all year round because it does have that deepness, but it's also got the brightness. And yeah, like I said, the matte definitely, definitely makes it more muted, um, which I want. I like it like this. Honestly, there's two more to try on the lip kit side of things and I couldn't be happier with my choices right now i'm so happy and proud of myself for picking the right colors okay so next one is the one that was very difficult to choose and this is bites me now it looks really kind of very red and i'm hoping it's a bit more like this color than it is like the bird like 
I don't know. I don't know. Basically, with the reds, there's three that I, in the lip kit section. There's Boss, there's Bite Me, and there's Mary Jo K. They're all very different because Boss is a orange red, Bite Me is a berry red, and Mary Jo K is like a true blue red. If you know what I mean by blue red, you know what I mean. It's like a pure red. And I just don't think blue reds are really my colour. Like, I just don't think I'll wear a blue red. So I didn't get it. And I was debating between Bite Me and Boss. Because obviously, I'm definitely a berry red person. Like, 110% a berry red person. I've never really tried an orange red. So, I went for the berry red. So I thought that was the safer bet. And now I do wish I'd bought Boss as well because it looks really good. The lip liner looks like the box, but the, the liquid lipstick looks a lot more red, if you can see what I mean. Like, that definitely looks more like the lip liner than it does the lipstick. I'm not a massive red wearer, but I really, really want to get into it. A lot of people, like, love a nude, but, you know, like, Liberty on Love Island, like, she was always wearing a red lip, and it looked amazing on her, and I just always want to wear a red lip, and I never wear a red lip, so... I think I might have to get Boss, because I think Boss is a bit more of a wearable red lip, whereas this is more like a Christmas, winter red lip, more than, like... Or autumn, I can wear it in autumn, but if I want one that's more like an all-year-round one, I should probably get Boss, because it's more orangey. It's quite scary doing your lip liner with these, because they're so creamy, that your skin's just gonna go... Bzoop. Now let's put the lipstick on. I really, I've got hopes and expectations for this. This is what I wanted. Love it. This is definitely more of an autumn winter red. It's so pretty. This is exactly the colour I wanted it to be. The way I would describe this colour is like a blood red. Like, it's like a vampire, not a vampire. It, it's it's like a blood red. It's not, I like, it's got that red, really red undertone. It's not bluey at all. It's, it's definitely a berry undertone red, but it's not like, you would still look at it and say that's red, which is what I wanted. I was a bit concerned that it was going to be like a bit too berry. It's got a tiny bit come off, but that's from like the inside of my lip, like not my actual lips. That's from like the inner bit. This is like definitely gonna be like my autumn, winter, Christmas color. Like it's a perfect Christmas red, I would personally say. This, or this is my perfect Christmas red. There's also other colors like 22 and stuff that are really pretty, but they're also sold out. I personally just don't want to buy two, like it's a lot of money that like, I've spent, you can probably guess how, figure out how much money I've spent here. I have spent a lot of money and it's like I really wanted to get shades that I knew I would wear and di like colors that were different from each other. I really didn't want to get similar colors. Let's just get me on the PR list, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not on any PR list. I mean, I'm not joking, it would be great, but I'm not on any PR list. The last one that's actually like a lip kit, then we've got five more items. I'm a bit nervous that this is going to be really similar to this colour, but it's supposed to be darker. And I couldn't resist the name as well. It's called Better Not Pout. And after reading that, when I saw it on the website, could I get Santa Claus coming to town out of my head? No, I could not. But this is meant to be like an actual berry colour. Okay, this looks a lot more muted. It doesn't look the same colour at all. This actually looks a lot like Victoria, which is very strange. I'm assuming it's going to dry darker. It's meant to be like one of the darkest colours, I'm pretty sure. So I'm very intrigued. Let's just get this on my lips because I'm really intrigued now. I'm so intrigued because this lip liner makes it look like it's going to be lighter than Bite Me. But the pictures definitely make it look darker. So I'm so intrigued by this colour now. Okay, you can definitely see that's a different colour. I don't know, I'm confused. I think I love the colour. Like, nothing about the colour I'm questioning. I'm questioning the darkness of the colour. <laughs> then again, on camera it looks really dark, so... Is this the darkest one I've had? 
but I'm not mad. I really like this colour a lot, like a lot, a lot. It's again a really pretty autumnal colour. I just thought it was going to be a lot darker than this. This is like an autumnal berry lip. But I don't know what I was expecting because now I think about it, this is the colour I think it was. I have no idea. I'm really happy it's this colour. I think if it had been any darker, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much. So it's actually worked out for the better. I'm very, very, very happy this is the colour. It's very, very pretty. Let's get this off. We've got one more liquid lipstick to go then four glosses. But glosses are easy peasy, so... So that is all the lip kits that I bought. Now we're on to the last five items. So the next thing I got was the liquid lipstick in Kristen. It says Kristen and lip kit is coming soon. And it's not on the Selfridges lip kit section. But you can get it as a liquid lipstick. So I got it as a liquid lipstick. There was a few, I feel like, of the regular lip, lip, liquid lipsticks that I liked. Because there was a few that were in liquid lipsticks that weren't in... Um, like a lip kit on Selfridges at least anyway so I did really like a few of them but I just thought I'd guess to get this one this I don't know if it's similar to Victoria I think it might be similar to Victoria just a bit more orange toned even if it's near enough the same I don't mind because it is just a single it's not like I bought the whole lip kit I think I'd be like 15 pounds maybe like 18 I don't know I know the lip glosses were 15 I've also got no lip liners so you get to see how they go on without a lip liner if you only want to buy the liquid lipstick so this is this color this is without a lip liner like that's pretty decent so i would say if you want to get some of these but you don't really care about a lip liner like you're fine with putting liquid lipstick on if you're fine with putting liquid lipstick on without a lip liner you could just get these because you would save yourself money i obviously would rather have a lip liner as far as my memory serves this is more muted and not as red as victoria victoria seemed a lot more red and this seems like it's more of a neutral version of Victoria. Um, it doesn't see, it's like, this seems like a mixture of Autumn and Victoria, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if I'm right, obviously that was a while ago now, that was like nearly an hour ago, because I remember looking in the viewfinder for Victoria and Victoria looked red. This doesn't look as red as Victoria did. It doesn't look as bright red. Um, this is like, this is a stun this is also a colour I think I would love. Um, this does look like a mixture of like multiple different colours, but I understand why everyone loves this colour. It almost gives me a little bit like MAC Whirl vibes, um, a tiny bit, but it's a beautiful colour. I probably could get away with not buying the lip liner. I could probably use one of the ones from the eight lip kits I've got. I'm sure there's one that will be similar enough where I can match them up. But I think if I was doing an order and I could get the lip liner, I would. But when the lip kit comes out, I'm not going to go and buy the lip kit just to get the lip liner. Like, I'll just use a different lip liner. But I love this colour. So now I have to take it off. So for the lip glosses, I have four. Um, I've got two that have glitter and two that are like the opaque ones. Uh, I don't know what was to start with. I probably do it from darkest to light, shouldn't I? Like the two glitters and then do the two opaque ones. Okay, we'll do that. So the first glitter one, which is actually the last one I bought, but I saw this girl on YouTube. I don't know her name. She was really pretty. And she tried the um, Yes Girl lip gloss on. And it was like, it's like gold. And she really liked it. And then she tried on this and she was like obsessed and she said it was like a winter wonderland and it looked really pretty so I bought it. I actually wasn't going to buy another one, I was only going to buy the three. But I'm happy now because I've got two glitter ones, two not glitter ones. It's called Oh You Fancy. These packagings are just so cute, like look at this packaging. It's stunning and look at this colour. Oh my gosh, there's such a different feeling that I thought they are going to be. Like, they're thicker than I was expecting. Like, they're very thick. This is... I get why she liked this colour now. I get why she liked it. They're not thick. They're, they're quite thick, but they're not... They're not sticky. They're really nice. Yeah, I fully understand why she liked this colour. It is... It's stunning. It's so pretty. This has got, like... I can't zoom you in because of my camera falling over, but this is what it looks like. You've got to remember as well, my lips are really, really red from taking all that makeup off, but so pretty. Next one I got, again, is a glitter one. I'm actually way more excited for the glitter ones, I'm not going to lie. But I'm also really into lip gloss at the minute, which is why I 
got some. This is called My Moon and Stars. This was the original one I put in. Actually, no, it wasn't. The next one was. But this is my original glitter one I put in. And this one, I think, is a bit more pink, I think, than the one I've just put on my lips. I also don't know. I'm interested to see if it's as glittery. Like, this one has got, like, you can see the bits of glitter. Why is lip gloss so hard to take off? What? I'm not even joking when I tell you. I've never had a lip gloss this difficult to take off. I'm not going to put lip balm on. I'm just going to sh straight for this one. This is my moon and stars. Okay, so what I previously said, I can confirm. Oh, you fancy is a lot more like when you look at it, you can see like every little bit of glitter. With this one, you can see the glitter, but it's, it's more of like a sheen glitter rather than like chunky glitter like the last one's a bit more chunky and sparkly whereas this one's like you can see it but you have to look a lot closer to see the specks of glitter whereas the previous one you've got you don't have to look as close i don't know if you can see so this one like i feel like from a distance just looks shiny but it's beautiful it's a beautiful color they don't really have much of a color to them this one's just like a bit more of a pinky one the other one's more like a goldy white shimmer but I like that because I don't. you don't always want like a shimmer shimmer, do you? Next we have Diva, which is the one that like when you click on it, it automatically goes to. So I just bought it because it looked cute. It looked like a good colour. Now I'm not sure. <laughs> this one's quite opaque apparently. Um, but I would probably not wear it on its own anyway. I'm more of a gloss. Or like I'm normally, I don't wear gloss like fully on its own. I wear it on top of a lip liner. Or I'd wear it on a liquid, on a liquid lipstick. That'd be the two options. A lot of the time, I'll wear them on lip liners, though. So let's see how this looks. I'm not a fan of this colour. I don't like it on my lips like this. It's very, like, patchy. It doesn't go on smooth. Maybe it's because I don't have any lip balm on underneath. I just put it straight on my lips. It's quite patchy and smooth. It's a very, very pale colour. But it's fine because I would never wear it on my lips like this anyway. I would always have a, like, my lips covered in lip liner. I don't really like how it looks on my lips like this, but I do think that with a, like, on top of lipstick or lip liner or another, or like the liquid lipstick or whatever, I do think it'd look cute. And then the final item I got is another lip, lip gloss in Snatched. I originally wasn't even going to get this. It's just because I saw Kylie say that she wears the Kylie lip, liquid lipstick with snatch lip gloss so i bought snatch lip gloss i put a tiny bit of lip balm on my lips this time i felt like with that last one i'm interested if they work the same because that last one it really like clung so this one's definitely a prettier color yeah these are very because they're so thick i think with these lip glosses because they're so thick they're quite hard to spread which is why i don't think i would ever wear them on their own I'm not a massive fan of how lip gloss looks on its own anyway, unless it's like a clear one with shimmer. Um, opaque lip glosses I don't like on their own, on me at least. So I do like the colour of this though. I just 100% would wear it over a lipstick. And I can see that this would look really pretty over top of the Kylie liquid lipstick because the Kylie one is a little bit more cool. So it's got like a coolness to it. So having this on top would be really, really, really pretty. But I still really like it. It's just I would never wear these on my lips bare but they're really pretty regardless. I'm gonna end the video here. If you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know any ideas you have down below. Let me know your favorite lip kit on me or what was your favorite item, what items you have. If you're from the UK and you've ordered from the official website recently since the relaunch, I'd love to know the price of you if you've got customs and stuff and your shipping because it's really intriguing so that is everything and i will see you in my next video bye oh for fuck's sake with this camera stop it